Hello, and we are back once again in the wonderful world of Skyrim. Uh, hello, horse. I've had a bit of a mishap between now and between this episode and the last one, mainly that I was on the way to Windhelm and I ended up being attacked by a saber toothed tiger and died. And because I hadn't quick saved at any point, I ended up all the way back at White Run, which meant I had to buy the horse again and come back through the fort again and do all of that fort again which wasn't good but it means that some of my weapons have changed for example instead of having the uh, burning bow I now have the sanctified bow which is not as good not quite what I wanted but I c I'm not going to do that for a third time so bugger it I'll just keep what I've got and uh, make our way to get out the way Lydia make our way to Windhelm now it's a bit of a ride so I'm probably just going to fade in now rather than having you watch the rear end of my horse for five minutes some of you might like i know i'm not into that kind of shit you might be mm -hmm. right so we're here now in this little mill area which is a little place you pass on the way to windhelm and i haven't actually looked in here before so i'm not entirely sure what to expect there's the thing that killed me. Although, not that one, obviously. That one's already dead. It appears that someone's already raided this place. Oh, there's some gold. Might as well. Hmm. Looks as though there's been, there has been some trouble here. All oh, the potions. Yep, they're always useful. Uh, no, that's empty too. Hmm. Not a lot to do in here. There's, an, there's another little hut. Where is it? Just over here. No, that's not it. It's up here. There we are. Worth a look, I suppose. What's in here then? Has this one been raided as You're well? You're lost. Oh. You need to leave now. I used to have five good men who worked the mill with me. Then this war started and they all ran off. Idiots with meat in their blood. Okay, fair enough. That probably explains the mess. Well, I don't think they'd run off that quickly. Anyway, I think that saber tooth is still around. So leave my horse behind for a minute. Don't want him getting injured. Where are we? Where are you, saber tooth? I know you're up here somewhere. Unless he only attacks me while I'm on a horse or something stupid like that. Come on. Show yourself. Ah, there you are. Bad kid. I could probably just stand here. And oh no, it's in me, it's in me, it's in me, it's in me. Come on. Right. Potions. Where are we? There we go. Uh, potions of healing. Got quite a few, which is good because I'm going to need them. And uh, nope. Where did you go? There you are. That's it. Right. Good. You can. I don't know why it's got gold on it, but fair enough. I do not know what a saber tooth cat is going to do with gold. What was Lydia throughout all of that? Oh well. Either way, I just heal myself, get back to the horse, and continue my, my journey along the road. And there it is. Quite impressive city looking city. Even in my medium graphic setting. Still looks rather nice, I think. Now all the snow's picking up as well. So I finally made it. Perhaps now we'll be able to, yep, discover the stables. I'll probably, I'll leave you here. Now be good. Don't kick anyone. There are nice people here that'll look after you. Oh, I walked into a wall. Right. 
So hopefully now I can contact the Dark Brotherhood and start up one of the side storylines. Which should be a lot more interesting than the Mindless Wandering, which is what I've been doing currently. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Greyskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, you spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Hello. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Will you spare a few coins to help someone? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Well, it sounds like I'm not going to get some very good Safe reception travels. here. Unfortunately, I'm beginning to have second thoughts about the Stormcloaks. I seem very racist bunch, so I doubt they'll be very happy about a Khajiit joining them. Uh, anyway, now ch I've just got to find that guy that's trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood, and I have no idea where he is, so I'm probably just going to explore the town and jump ahead to when I actually find out where he is. Aha! Then it's true, this is what the place. everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimvar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Huh. Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Okay, then. So, Other this looks like the house. The Here we are. Good thing, too. Her father would run them off. He's telling me pointless information, which I do not need to know. So, I guess this is the place. I must just have to be able to break in, then. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so, it's about here. There we go. Easy. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Please, how long must I do this? Hello, I creepy child. Finally! My prayers have been answered! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came! An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! Uh, well, not exactly. Of course you are! I prayed, and you came, and now you'll accept my contract! Contract? My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call the Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the kind. Okay. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Right, so 
The creepy child wants me to go and kill someone who is apparently kind. Or as far as her name suggests. Fair enough, I'll do that. Why not? I've got nothing better to do. Okay then, so... I do not <laughs> actually know where this person is. So hopefully the quest will point that out. Where is she? Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's miles away. Uh, great. More walking. Oh well, might as well get it over with.